today we're going to do an unboxing and review of the powerful Ruger Air Magnum. This is a spring piston brake barrel air rifle. I opted to get the 22 caliber version over the 177 because this is going to be used more for hunting than plinking. We're going to test the claims on the box and put this over the chronograph to see what kind of readings we get. We're also going to do an accuracy test with several pellets to see which one this rifle likes most. We're going to do a chronograph test to test the Ruger Air Magnum 22 using the PBA Platinum 9.7 grains. So this is the second Ruger Air Magnum that I've purchased. The first one I ended up returning, uh, it had a defective uh, spring on it, and at first I thought that's just how the rifle was, but I called Dumerex and it should be shooting a little bit faster than that. I actually got some more information from them, and it turns out that when Dumerex is uh, testing these rifles and chronographing them, they're going through the deceiving process and it's pretty much like a 22 uh, rimfire rifle at that point. So I actually sent my last rifle in for a repair and they weren't able to repair the, the power plant so they replaced the rifle. And so we're going to test this rifle out and see if it's shooting a little better. Now I know in the box it says 1200 feet per second and that's also what I asked them. I said what about the claims on the box, uh, 1,200 feet per second. So apparently they're changing that to 1,000 feet per second. So now we're going to do the chronograph test with the replacement rifle. So we're trying the lead-free PBA Platinum pellets. And these are some of the lightest pellets you can get on the market right now. So I gotta say, I'm impressed. And please excuse the 216 and 245. I missed shot and I accidentally hit, as you can see right there. So that's why I got that bad reading. But we can take those out and we can get a good average. It is shooting what it's supposed to now. We're gonna do an accuracy test. It's pretty hot, so I got my little portable USB powered air cooler works pretty well for the first part of the ruger air magnum 22 accuracy test we're going to test out the crossman red flight penetrators which come in 16.7 grains and just for size comparison i put the ruger super point right next to it which is about the standard size of a pellet you can get at your local sporting goods store this crossman red flight penetrator may resemble a 22 round the difference is that the whole thing shoots out, it doesn't leave anything behind. And these are very good at penetrating the targets. For all our accuracy tests, we're going to be at 25 yards or 75 foot distance. The cocking effort on this rifle is significantly greater than my previous Ruger rifle, which was a 22 Ruger Impact Elite. This Magnum rifle recoils pretty violently, a lot more than your standard 22. So it would take a few rounds to get used to it.
we're also going to put the Crossman Red Flight Penetrators through the chronograph. These are 16.7 grains, and this is so you can get an idea of how a heavier pellet will shoot out of this rifle. So after taking a couple shots, we got a couple consistent readings, and these 16.7 grain pellets are shooting about 760 feet per second out of the Ruger Air Magnum. This gives you a rough estimate of about 22 foot-pounds of energy with this specific pellet. Up next is the Gamma Rocket. Up next is the H&N Hornet. We're now shooting the Gamo Red Fire. We're now going to be testing the Griffin Air Gun Slugs, 16 grains. up the Ruger Super Point. This concludes our review of the Ruger Air Magnum 22 by Umarex. I would say this is a very good rifle for hunting and if you want to it could be a very good plinking rifle too. But I like this more for hunting especially. Overall, this rifle is very fun to shoot. It's a little bit hard to cock it if you're not used to it. It comes around 42 pounds of cocking effort. Now the trigger is really, really nice on this. It's a two-stage adjustable trigger. And it comes in about 3.3 pounds. This is a great rifle to take out pests at medium to long ranges. You can go out to 50, 75 yards with this thing, and it will shoot accurately and deadly. This rifle is a little bit long for those of you who are not used to it. It's 48.5 inches, and it's 9.5 pounds in weight. This rifle is not the quietest around, especially for the people that like to diesel their pellets. It will resemble a 22 rimfire sound. Overall, this is a great Magnum rifle. I prefer these over the Gamo multi-shot rifles. And for the price point, you're getting lots of power and accuracy in one package. Although, I would not consider this to be a beginner air rifle. This is for the advanced shooter. You can easily start missing the target if you don't know how to control the rifle well. Overall, I would say this is a great buy at the price point. And Umarex has great customer support, and you won't be disappointed. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos like this.